Then the kingdom of heaven shall be like to ten virgins, which took their lamps and went out to meet the husband and the wife. And five of them were fools and five prudent. But the five fools took their lamps and took not oil with them. But the prudent took oil in their vessels with the lamps. And while, while the husband tarried, all they napped and slept. But at, the, but at midnight a cry was made, Lo, the spouse cometh, go ye out to meet with him. Then all those virgins rose up and arrayed their lamps. And the fools said to the wise, Give ye to us of your oil, for our lamps be quenched. The prudent answered and said, Lest peradventure it suffice not to us and to you, go ye rather to men that sell and buy to you. And while they went to buy, the spouse came, and those that were ready entered with him to the weddings, and the gate was shut. And at the last the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open to us. And he answered and said, Truly I say to you, I know you not. Therefore wake ye, for ye know not the day of the, of, nor the hour. For as a man that goeth in pilgrimage called his servants, and betook to them his goods, and to one he gave five Byzants or talents, to another twain, and to another one, to each after his own virtue. And he went forth anon. After, and he that had five Byzants went forth, and wrought in them, and one other five. Also he that had taken twain, one other twain. But he that had taken one went forth, and delved in the earth, and hid the money of his Lord. But after long time, the Lord of those servants came and reckoned with them. And he that had taken five Byzants came and brought other five and said, Lord, thou betookest to me five Byzants. Lo, I have gotten about five others. His Lord said to him, Well be thou, good servant and faithful, for on few things thou hast been true. I shall ordain thee on many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. And he that had taken two Byzants or two talents, came and said, Lord, thou betookest to me two, Pisa two Byzants. Lo, I have gotten, lo, I have won over other twain. His Lord said to him, Well be thou, good servant, and true, for on few things thou hast been true. I shall ordain thee on many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. But he that had taken one Byzant, came and said, Lord, I know that thou art an hard man. Thou reapest where thou hast not sown, and thou gatherest together where thou hast not spread abroad. And I dreading went and hid thy bazant in the earth. Lo, thou hast, thou hast that that is thine. His Lord answered and said to him, Evil servant and slow, knewest thou that I reap where I sowed not? and gather together where I spread it not abroad. Therefore it behooved thee to take my money to exchangers, that when I came, I should have received that that is mine with usuries. Therefore take away from him the Byzant, and give to him that he hath ten Byzants. For to every man that hath, me, for, that, for to every man that hath men shall give. For to every man that hath me shall give, and he shall increase. But from him that hath not, also that, also that that he seemeth to have shall be taken away from him. And cast ye out the unprofitable servant into outer more darknesses. There shall be weeping and grinding of teeth. When man's son shall come in his majesty, and all his angels with him, then he shall sit on the seat of his majesty, and all folks shall be gathered before him. And he shall separate them a twain, as a shepherd separateth sheep from kids. And he shall set the sheep on his right half, and the kids on the left half. Then the king shall say to them, That shall be on his right half, Come ye, the blessed of the, my father, taking in possession the kingdom made ready to you from the making of the world. For I hungered, and ye gave me to eat. I thirsted, and ye gave me to drink. I was harborless, and ye harbored me. Naked, and ye covered me sick and he visited me i was in prison and he came to me then just men shall answer to him and say lord when saw we thee hungry and we fed thee thirsty 
and we gave to thee drink. And when saw we thee harborless, and we harbored thee, or naked, and we covered thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and we came to thee? And the king answering shall say to them, Truly I say to you, as long as ye did to one of these my least brethren, brethren, ye did to me. Then the king shall say also to them, that it shall be on his left half, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, that is made ready to the devil and his angels. For I hungered, and ye gave me not to eat. I thirsted, and ye gave me not to drink. I was harborless, and ye harbored not me. Naked, and ye covered not me. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited not me. Then they shall answer to him, and shall say, Lord, when saw we thee hungering, or thirsting, or harborless, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and we serve not to thee? Then he shall answer to them and say, Truly I say to you, as long as ye did not to one of these least, neither ye did to me. And these shall go into everlasting torment, but the just men shall go into everlasting life.